Hello there everybody, Embrix here and it's finally time for my studio tour. So uh, by the way, here's the studio itself. I just use these kind of poster board material things. Two on the wall for tall sets and then one on the base. I got my studio light right there. Hmm. So that's how that looks. There's the light switch. Um, This is like a closet. It's locked right now, but that is the switches for the lights for the whole house. I have a right and a left sign, which I put up like two years ago, and that's just um, for quick reference, you know, I know the difference. That's right, that's lefty, obviously. But anyway, that is the studio itself. I got this table right here, or not table, sorry, stool. And that is where I put my camera, or my iPad. This is the iPad I'm filming on right now. There we go. But yeah, just on a tray. I use my Darth Vader alarm clock to kind of hold it, like so, and then you see the studio. Um, here I got some stuff. I got a list of the order of the Lego Movie 2 CMFs. Just want to hold on to that until I get a chance to get one of those untouched boxes. What I use to review figures, what I also reviewed, use to review some figures and a kind of pointer. So that's all on this stool right here. And then I got these two kind of um, tray assemblies and those hold a bunch of things I need on quick access. Here is a black speeder, which I made in a mock video a while ago, and in case, I took it apart though, in case I ever want to put it back. Here is the stuff I use, the two guinea pig figures, and then a bunch of plates for the kind of uh, roller coaster setups. Right there is custom figure stuff. I got a tube of clay and then some painted pieces that I use. I put them under the figure, then paint the figure. And then those are just a bunch of kind of cut up plates. By the way, uh, I do get fake Lego for one reason. Uh, and not in bricks or anything, just or figures or sets or anything, just in plates because I can't bring myself to cut an official Lego plate. In this Legoland bag right here, I have so many of these Legoland exclusive bricks. Keep sealed because these do, um, they're worth a lot actually for just a brick on the on eBay and stuff like that. So right here I have stuff from mock I'm working on. I'll tell you guys about it later. And then some stuff for stop motion, these sort of Then uh, I'm, I'm in the middle. I'm missing like two or three pieces for this poly bag. Then I can review that. Down here, I got a lot of power functions. So yeah, um, let's see. Continuing downward. These are pieces to build Shilla from Lord of the Rings. Shilla attack set. I might be able to gather p the pieces. And these are just useful ones, you know. Cash register print for a sliding door when I make it. Yeah. Just a lot of stuff. Anyway, down under the table though, we have the box for Lego Ninjago City. And um, by the way, in the box, I keep all the boxes because boxes actually you can sell online. Obviously I won't, but um, I keep boxes in the box to save space. And then under that, I got Quickie Mart from The Simpsons and the Persian Restaurant. Uh, there I have a mock, which um, I completed, then took apart, and now I'm trying to put it back together. But let's bring these into the light. So yeah, the full studio tour. This is my make a minifigure kind of station. Two traits from Lego Architecture. That's that right there. Hmm. Focus is terrible. There we go. This is the one that stays on top. These are for figures I think I can almost complete because I buy parts separately and then these two are just in there. I got a bunch of heads, a lot of heads, a lot of these see-through transparent ones, some black ones, really useful yellow ones, and then skin colored one so yeah you can see all of those hot guys right there from Age of Ultron yeah so a lot of assortment of heads uh here is where I keep the torsos huh two pants snuck their way in here and there's a mini doll torso but a lot of nice torsos let's see Lex Luthor's Batman's Ninjago one um I do have a Ghostbusters is this no hmm. right here Ghostbusters one that's pretty useful um, well, not useful, but valuable because I um, build figures for my city. Mm -hmm. Got a lot of stuff. Garmin's upper torso, um, and then a kind of hoodie. That one I can use mainly to build figures. I have like the pants, I have the face, I have the accessories. I just need good torsos. Most of these are themed like superheroes or ninja or something like that. But this and that I can use once I add more figures to my city because I still have to do that. But these are the pants. That's a nice dual molded one. Some plain ones. That's not plain. That's not plain. Barely any plain ones though. And you got that. Um, this kind of skirt piece, the old one before they introduced the new skirt piece. 
That could also just be a brick. Short legs. Black Widow leg printing right there. So yeah, a lot of uh, useful stuff on Solo's legs. And then right here, um, this is headgear. You got some hair, you got um, these ninja masks and afro, nice crown, um, night piece from Scooby-Doo. Um, what else? There was something I really liked, the graduation cap. And two of these pumpkins. Oh my god, a hair. Embarrassing, sorry. Just kind of move that, but yeah. And then right here we have the cape kind of pieces. They you can also go around legs or around the neck. And then this tutu from the um, Lego Ninjago CMF. Uh, right here we got um, things that most usually like attach to the figure, like hard plastic things like this attaches to the neck. These all attach to the neck. But this attaches between the legs, this attaches on the head, backpack, stuff like that. And then here we basically have visors or stuff to fit into visors and then a bunch of these where you can put between the figure and or the figure's head and like on the neck. So yeah, that is how I make um, my custom figures, my kind of uh, personal make a mini figure, except way smaller than in Lego stores. And uh, let me just say that uh, this studio has evolved so much. Uh, I started like really fixing it up back in October of 2017 before I barely had any sets and the ones I did I didn't have any of these tables I didn't even have my city I just put a clutter of sets on the floor and then like a box full of bricks and then coats were hanging here because as I said this used to be a closet but then I transformed um, it but not my closet obviously for people in my uh, family but let's get the studio light so we can let some more light in here what to show next? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's show the city. I showed a lot of it, but you can go watch all my city videos. But yeah, that's in the middle and it has grown over time. So uh, let's actually um, go turn this way <laughs> to my trash can. That is just filled with Lego bags. I use this as a weight to, of a kind of a paper weight to hold it all down. but. This is all Lego bags and packaging. You got this, again, I don't throw away boxes, but I do throw away bags, so yeah. Uh, in here, I just got a ton of books and stuff. Um, that I use for stop motion. And then this is like stuff I take to trade. I order fake figures and then I trade them. So yeah, a lot of stuff back here. And then trading warehouse. Um, well, look at the... Yeah, we'll look at the pieces later. Let's uh, get the overview of the sets and all. So here are the figures where I did review these and like show them all. But I said that I had 588. Then it changed to 595 when I got seven more in the sets. But then I forgot to include those two figures. So from 595, it becomes 597. Yes, so 597 minifigures, three away from 600. So yeah, those are my minifigure collections. Again, you can watch the separate videos on that. And then we move into my friends' sets, kind of Heart Lake City right here. Uh, from the jungle farm area into the city with the soccer goal, the vet, and then the mall, so really city. And then the kind of ocean with the sunshine catamaran, a great set which I reviewed. I reviewed all the sets, even a brick and a half set. The only set I didn't review was the power function set, which I'm going to review after the move because right now the power function is in a mock, but once I move and take that apart. Oh, by the way, a big question is probably, Am I still going to have my fit, uh, my city after I move and all my other mods? Yes, I'm going to make a video, kind of logs for myself, of how to rebuild it brick by brick. Though I won't publish those. But anyway, you got Lego Ninjago City right here, kind of dividing the friend's world from the kind of um, Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. You got the Goblin Cave. Dole Golder right there. Yeah, just a clump of stuff. I obviously need more space um, and I'll... Uh, show again why I need more space. So I hope I get a bigger studio after the move. But here you got the Marvel superhero stuff. You got like the um, Sanctum Sanctorum. You got the Web Warriors Bridge, a lot of Infinity War sets, a Civil War set, which I just reviewed. And then some other sets. Like this is the main display right here. And then those sets are really just under that huge UCS X-Wing. And then we move into Star Wars with some more ships. You have the U-Wing, you have the Starfighter. Uh, Anakin's Jedi Starfire. I can't even believe I reviewed all this. So that's kind of the good guy side. Well, in terms of ships, 
that is the good guy side and you can see in there and I dropped a super jumper, but that's the good guy side. Then we immediately changed the bad guy side with the Jeff Star, huge right there. And then a bunch of little builds for bad guy vehicles. Then we move back to the good guy side with Ewok Village, such a beauty. And then some location sets, Naboo, uh, Actu, uh, Dagobah, um, Darth Vader's Transformation. And then we got <laughs> the buildable May the 4th BB-8. And then we move on to the uh, Persian restaurant, my only modular building. I hope to get the uh, downtown diner or the kind of, sorry about that, or the kind of uh, detective's office, though eventually, you know, I want to get them all. But uh, then we move on to Quickie Mart. And then the Harry Potter, the newest kind of set display. So uh, it used to look a lot nicer, but then I got um, Hogwarts Express and I, again, I need more space. So it's all clumped together before Hogwarts was just in the background. You had the Quidditch um, in front of it and stuff like that. It looked really nice. But now the castle's in the back. You got the Whomping Willow, some beasts, um, a boat, and then Quidditch yeah, is hanging off. That looks really bad. But you have the Hogwarts Express in the front and then Newt's case of magical creatures and a bunch of them that are probably escaping as usual. But that is the set's overview. And I changed it like what? Um, after this summer or no before the summer so yeah about a year ago I changed how it was before the sets were everywhere then I put friends together and stuff like that um, after this one you might have noticed I cut up magazines because you know it's so easy to get magazines they're free uh, Lego magazines and then I just take sets I like and tape it I initially tried this for my channel artwork recently and then I tried a picture like this for my channel artwork I didn't like neither of them so I stuck with the original so far but mm, I might change it but yeah, these are all a lot of great sets. So, in case you wanted to see that, because it was so plain and white, I needed that. Uh, I don't like that pull, though if I remove it, it's going to come crashing down. So, I'm not going to, and I'm about to move. Uh, and then, you know, once I get more magazines, once I get the 2019 ones, that will expand and transfer over here. And just keep going. But then, after this side, I start something new with three calendars right here. So yeah, this is going to be the Lego calendar as well, until I move, at least. And I did want to get the 100 stores uh, poster up here, 100 stores in North America, but it was just way too heavy and it kept weighing down the tape. Um, anyway, uh, we were looking at sets and more sets are down here. These are mainly odd themes. Yeah, this is just, I replaced um, all this so I could put the Harry Potter display up. Again, that's why I need more space. In the back, I got a lot of Ninjago and City. Yeah, you can see back there some City builds. Yeah, right there. The Movie Maker set. And then here we got Lego Lego stores, like the VIP. And then the factory back there. And then the big Lego store, two floors. A Treehouse from Creator, a DCEU, um, DCX Sunday Doomers, basically where the movies are. Um, kind of Aquaman set and then here just mainly no themes like Mighty Micros, um, Dimensions, uh, London Exclusive Bus, um, two brickheads. I do want to get a better brickhead display but yeah those are just a um, handful of sets down there and then I guess before we look okay I'm gonna start from here so here inside this architecture um, box. I don't have bricks just from architecture, but they are all only white, though they're also from just like other brick boxes or maybe when I was younger, I took apart some sets and stuff like that. Here I have an old red brick box and then a newer yellow one, uh, a classic that's empty, though I did want to keep the box. Here's where I keep my superhero boxes. So uh, mainly Marvel because I don't have too many DC sets, but again, inside uh, boxes, I keep more boxes. So all the Infinity War sets are within these two boxes and then the calendar or uh, sorry, not calendar, the minifigure display one. Too bad though that the Harry Potter sets actually did not fit, unfortunately, uh, in with the rest of this display. A big reason for that is because I have the Hobbit sets down there as well. Just seemed like they go together. There's the 100 stores poster. Uh, but anyway, these are just here temporarily until the move, obviously. You got the kind of a blind bag box and then a lot of catalogs and magazines back here. You can see 2019 catalog, bunch of the magazines and instruction booklets that won't fit in the boxes once I have other boxes in them. And then I guess we can start here. Under the table I have mocks. So here's the Avengers mocks and the Star Wars play mocks. Go check out those videos. I made videos on like all of this. My spinner arena, my Octu uh, Island training extension mock, 
And then here's my kind of constant, co uh, contest of champions mock. And then back there, you got a lot of my old mocks, my hop, I really like that. Um, my dynamic wall mock, my phone case mock. Yeah, now the phone's out because that phone broke and I got a new one. But uh, anyway, that was an old phone, an iPhone 5, and it's been in the family for years. But anyway, here's the kind of work in progress squash court. Oh, so I can finally upload that. I, I made a video back in October of when I first created this, and I said I didn't upload it until I couldn't upload it until after I showed the city so you guys wouldn't be lost, and I completely forgot about it. Okay, and I've already had that video made, so right after this video, I can upload that. There's the gyrosphere, motor, motorized gyrosphere mock, and then I yeah, will get into pieces in a bit. Yeah, pieces are going to be mainly the last thing we get into, but anyway, here's some empty space, but down there I have Ziploc bags from packing. So, like, when I unpacked, when I moved into this house, but now I'm going to pack again, so I just kind of kept them. I got two quicker brick cups. That has fishing line used for stop motion, very useful. This has brick separators, 15 exactly. So yeah, and that one I can also fit brick separators into pieces. But then right here, I got kind of extra pieces back there. And now I have a new system for that. But uh, yeah, I got now, you know, I used to keep the extra pieces in bag, but now I just dump them and sort them with other pieces. But I got a spoon, a fork. I did tips and tricks videos on those. Scissors for when I open boxes or bags. This for when I open usually blind bags and this for when I open boxes for hauls. Uh, and this was something I made to try to help me poke out like technique things that get stuck, but a brick separator works better for that, I'll admit. A light in case I want to shine some light into a building, a magnifying glass uh, in case I need it. And then this big heavy duty pair of scissors for cutting up uh, base plates. And down below that, hmm, well, there's some packaging from Bricks and Pieces orders, or not bricks, yeah, Bricks and Pieces from Lego.com, official site. Um, a Collect Them All sticker, I only have the red one. I had all of them, I don't know what happened to the other three. Hmm. And then I gotta pick a minifigure, or make a minifigure right there. And then another cup, and this is filled with the pop badges from Lego Land. Huh. I got a bunch of these bricks, the exclusive bricks, these are the ones I open. I wanna open one of each kind. And then I have two sealed sets. Oh, uh, sorry about the focus. It's real dark in there, but that's a Jurassic World one. And then in the light, why isn't it focusing there? And then in the light, you can see the kind of um, plants from plant set. Uh, I keep those sealed because, you know, I don't keep rare sets sealed. I like to open them, but those are duplicates. And if I don't need them right now, if I need the pieces, then yeah, of course I'll open it. But right here, this came from Pick a Brick. Hmm. But in this Tupperware right here, let's try to open that. I'm going to use my foot. But you know what this is? Since when the Avengers Infinity War sets came out, these are all my extra pieces. Yes, just extras that came in sets. Since uh, the Avengers Infinity War sets, which came out like 10 months ago. Yeah, so just extra pieces right here. All of these are extras. So yeah, um, you can see how many I have and I sometimes dig through there. I dig out useful ones like micro figs, um, wands, stuff like that, but yeah. Um, here um, I got some more boxes and there are, I have weird themes and those white boxes came from Ninjago City and the Death Star and then the huge Death Star instruction manu uh, manual sorry, and then some more kind of boxes. Back there I have duplicate sets like a duplicate Quidditch that I don't have a space to review and then these specialized boat pieces in case I ever do make boat mocks. And then in that corner right there I got these pieces for sorting uh, or these kind of cardboard pieces from the architecture set for sorting pieces. And then here I have CMF kind of um, checklists. And then from keychains, because I removed the chain from the keychain, I got a bunch of these and then a bunch of the keychains left over. I think I did a tips and tricks video on that, but I don't remember if I published it because I think it ended badly. But yeah, we'll see that. But yeah, so a lot of stuff again. Focus is just messing up. It's all over the place. Hmm. There we go. So I've shown you pretty much um, everything except the pieces, of course. But here I have the Death Star box under this kind of island table and two more boxes, the UCS X-Wing and the Ewok Village. And let me just show you. That's what I've been working on, the kind of swinging ship. 
some more piece trays. This is work in progress stuff. An add-on for Apocalypse Bird, which I'm working on. And then, yeah, some more pieces for that. The construction team and some buggies or four-wheelers I'm working on. My board games in a box, also a work in progress. And yeah, just a, a lot of stuff down there. But let's start up with pieces then. I got these nice trays that hold four. So I kind of, um, I sort them, red bricks wing pieces maroon bricks gray bricks mm -hmm. those are getting less and i'll show you what i do once they get less enough i put them in there and then the colors over there that overflow i put them in here and yeah i'll explain more on that later blue bricks black bricks kind of buildable figure bricks and animals a lot of dinos so that was gonna happen anyway <clears throat> Let's move here. I got these see-through transparent bricks. Huh, that shouldn't go there. We'll fix that later. Orange bricks. And then this is just devoted to these panels. From Pick a Brick, I got so many. So I definitely needed a section for that. And then these kind of purple bricks. These are door frames, window frames, stuff like that. So yeah, some useful stuff. And then roller coaster track pieces. A lot of those, which I ordered in like my second haul ever. And yeah, even though I use a lot for my amusement park, still have a lot more yellow bricks and gray bricks. And then moving right along, we got Technic bricks. Whoa, okay, so that is a problem. These are supposed to only stay here. Hmm. Yeah, those are big, but those are the train tracks. And then in here, I got like specialized car pieces, the chassis, the windshield. Oh, oh yeah, I have a lot of those. And then there I have kind of wheels and tires. Up here I have also Technic, but bigger Technic pieces. Like there you have those small pins and stuff, but mm, the small pins and things like that. But here you have the bigger, more specialized pieces. Brown bricks, lime green bricks, and plants. See, I have so many. That's why I didn't have to open that plants from plant set. But don't worry, again, if I ever need it, I will. So those are basically the trays that I have um, set up, but then let's move here to these kind of four container units. So each one is divided into four parts. So yeah, again, if it overflows, then, and there's one there that has less bricks than there, then I switch them out. But um, let's see, I got a lot of food pieces right here. Very useful, lemonade print, um, dimension toy tags. So, like these type of pieces with suds at the top and the side and bread I got a bunch of bread they were just at like um, a pick a brick so I got a lot of other stuff clips and stuff that go into clips uh, some of those tan bricks and spring loaded shooters bolts uh, here you got a net shooter this color a rock <laughs> that kind of pink color and then that is starting to overflow maybe it will get its own a lot of the masonry styled bricks and then aqua blue, um, dark dark um, brown, pink, purple, you got some teal back there, um, prints, yeah, this is all prints, and you know, in case I'm looking for anything useful, you got just a spring green right there, should uh, put that in those cases which we're looking at next, not those, those cases which we're looking at next, you got some uh, fire pieces, yeah, you can, I'm just gonna go over this real quickly, it's pretty self-explanatory, some Duplo, which just fit into Lego, go watch my video on that. Um, a lot of minifigure stands, uh, let's see. Oh, these specialized pieces from Chima. Oh, these beige guy edge doors from the Destiny's Bounty. Some boat pieces, this piece from the Mystery Mansion. Yeah, I got some, a couple of rare pieces. Here is like bits and pieces of like what I'd like to do eventually in my city, like neon lighting for a sign, and then a curtain using a cape piece back there. Um, okay, so hmm, maybe I can situate myself nicely. Yeah, this video is going on for a while. So this just happened. Uh, I just barely, barely, barely caught my X-Wing from falling. Okay, I'm gonna clean up. Okay, so here's the damage. I picked that up, this fell off, I put it on. Um, everything was okay. The main thing is the wall of a kind of bunch of pieces fell off and are unattached. Well, good thing actually, fortunate that um, I'm actually moving because I'm gonna have to take it apart anyway. So yeah, that's kind of a push to do it. So at least it wasn't like when I'm not planning on moving, but anyway.
back to the pieces. Yeah, you got a bunch of those kind of ladder pieces. That specialized piece, oh, the town bricks, I could have put those together, but a lot of these nice lava pieces and some of the water down in there. Bike specialized pieces, uh, yeah, self-explanatory. These are mainly, oh my God, I keep knocking into things. I just knocked into my kind of New York street. Okay, this is bad, but um, yeah, I knocked this down a lot. I'm pretty experienced in putting it back, so that's all good. Some figures got knocked down. The main damage was to the roof, but again, I'm moving, so. Uh, and it's pretty straightforward to how to rebuild that roof, but mm, yeah, I'm gonna have to deal with that eventually, but okay, hopefully I won't think. <sighs> as soon as I was saying it, this just fell off. You know what, I'm gonna take this. Oh my God, I hope I don't forget and step on it, but put that right there. Yeah, because that really always falls off, not just when I'm focusing on something else. But yeah, there I got kind of official builds from sets, like Indians from an X-Wing that I ordered separately. Um, the laser light from the Ninjago movie, you know? Just uh, little stuff like that. The tent from Outdoor Adventures, and I even have the bed from the kind of Destiny's Bounty. And um, that is pretty cool, but I got a bunch of these uh, plates right here. And what these are, are divider sections for these cases. So I have eight cases. These have minifigure accessories and these have pieces that are too small for these. Or yeah, too small for those and just small in general. So here are all the pieces. So yeah, you know, it's pretty hard to open these up, but yeah, I'm gonna, there we go. And yeah, once you turn this around. Oh, these are the pieces. Sorry, I switched them. Yeah, I'm look, we're looking at pieces, not the minifigure accessories. For some reason, I thought we were. But here I got some railings, um, some desks, some uh, sand green pieces, um, a bunch of infinity stone rings and pieces, some hands. Maybe we can just look at these with the tops on. And then here I got, yeah, just an assortment of pieces. None are particularly so. Turntables are always good. Snap pieces are always good. And then, yeah, a lot of these. So I just want to show you how those um, look. And just, this is more like, it's not in depth. I'm not going to be pointing out every single individual brick. Usually I can put all four back at once, but I'm holding the iPad in one hand. But um, it's not going to be in depth of every single brick. It's going to be more of... Um, just real quickly showing them. I thought maybe I'd be able to do the studio tour in one take, but too bad um, that I keep knocking stuff over. But here is weapons, mainly guns, big guns, medium guns, small guns, small guns, small guns, small guns, small guns. And then what is that? Those are like ax attachments and sure canes. You got kind of hilts for lightsabers and the skull hilts, claws and handcuffs. Um, tassels and size. Uh, here you got a bunch of these kind of staff sword weapons, dynamite, lightsaber pieces slash bars, stud shooters, stud shooters that attach to bricks, a laptop. Um, here, the food used to be here, but now obviously I give it a bigger home, but you got the paint roller pieces, got a lot of those from Destiny's Bounty. Um, backpacks, tools, friends accessories, bags, a wagon, a trophy, and I really like this, that's why I'm talking about them all. Uh, some food accessories, some phones slash cameras, um, just big long wooden sticks, kind of like that. A bunch of wands, and then here I got ghosts from Ghostbusters. Um, shots, a lot of shots, bows, metal detector, and then quivers, stuff like that. So I think that you basically get the feel of that. Is there anything that, uh, hmm, is there anything I didn't do? I didn't show you guys, showed you all that. And yeah, I actually think that that could be everything. I just remember when I started back in October 2017, when I still had the sets on the floor, when coats were still up there and people would come and stomp on my Legos and I'd have to put them back together, sort of like that. But yeah, I think that is it. And that is this long, that is it for this long video of the studio tour. But I hope you liked it and if you did, Please subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I'll talk to you again soon, probably with packing, stop motion, moving updates, unpacking updates, and then we'll see from there. Bye.